Then it traveled around. He got no real response from the diversity people. And then he posted it on one of these internal boards at Google where people can discuss things, which people at Google do all the time. So it was perfectly reasonable for him to post it because he didn't get a response from the diversity people. He thought, well, let's see what other people think. And then it was there for a long time until it was leaked up into the outside world. It wasn't like Demore was trying to expose Google for, for what it is. He was just doing what an engineer type would do when someone asked him to provide feedback because he's not thinking politically. He's not thinking, oh, they just want to hear what they already said. He thought they actually wanted some facts. Anyways, I think they picked on the wrong guy because Demore turns did. out to be pretty damn tough.